Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you the best settings for smooth gameplay on Samsung Galaxy A36. Let's begin! First, of course, we need some games. Uh, currently, I have only one game installed and it is Clash of Clans. You know, I am not a very big gamer, I am just a humble one. And one game for me is enough. However, I want to show you uh, that you can actually use these settings for individual games. What settings, you may ask? Well, first you need to go to the settings. In the settings, you want to scroll down. And actually, let me just bump down the brightness for you, so it may be visible easier. And then, uh, in the settings, you want to go into advanced features. In the advanced features, you want to scroll down a little, and right here we'll see game booster settings. In the game booster settings, we have a few settings we can change. But the most important one is game optimization right at the top. Currently it is set to balanced, we can click it and we'll see that we can switch to two different modes. Actually three of them, but the, uh, the very third one is just the balanced version. Um, the first one is battery saver, this will uh, make your games run not as smooth, but instead it will just save more battery, just like the name suggests, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory, the game will run lower, uh, it will run slower, more worse perhaps, the graphics won't be as good, uh, but uh, it won't require as much processing power as before, meaning that your battery will be saved. And then we can switch to something completely different called performance. And as you might probably guess, this will change our uh, games, uh, and especially their game, the game's performance, uh, to max levels, and you won't care about your battery or processing power, it will eat as much as it needs in order to run as smooth as it possibly can. Then we will for now skip the customization for the other games and go to gaming motion smoothness. If we go here, we'll see that currently it is set to um, 120 hertz which means smoother animation. Um, if uh, your phone is not running as smooth, then you want to make sure that you have it set to 120, because having it set to 60 will, will be a s double... You won't, be a, you won't have as much smoothness to your screen. Uh, it will basically refresh half as often, um, especially comparing it to the previous option. And now we can go and check our customizations for individual games, just like here. And in, in here we only have one game, that being Clash of Clans. As I said before, I am not a humble gamer, let's say. So now we want to click our Clash of Clans, and here we have few checks. The first one is game optimization. And here, if we enable it, we'll have have uh, settings that we already saw before, the battery saver, performance and balance. It is used so, for example, we want to have, well, let's save these options, uh, let's say that for every single game we want to be a uh, battery saver mode. Um, however, for a very specific type of game that we want to be good at or something like that, we can enable the performance. So even though every single other game will run slower, this very specific one will run better and more smoother. Then going back to the settings we have FPS options. In here we can enable the cap, uh, currently it is set to 20, so we can of course bump it up to the 60 if you want to. This setting is uh, not used to uh, improve the smoothness, but to dump it down um, just in case you want to basically save more battery while also playing games. So you can just lower the frames per second to some low value like 20 or 30, and then we should see uh, changes. And lastly, we have screen resolution. Uh, the screen resolution is in uh, percentage, so we can't manually change the resolution, but instead we can change how, ma how many pixels of the original resolution are being used by the game. So currently it's only half of them, and if we bump it up to 100, then our game will run um, at full resolution. 
that our uh, phone is capable of showing us. And after uh, our changes are done, we only have to hit save, and now our Clash of Clans performance are customized. And yeah, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.